Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. When we last left off, we'd just killed killed? Killed yes, killed. Killed the lost sinner. Bloody hell that was more difficult than it needed to be. And today we're moving on to the Huntsman's Corpse. But I just thought, you know what, I'll start off with a quite a cool view. That is Hades Tower of Flame, but as you'll notice It's it's not connected. There's like a tunnel we go through. But you can't see the... whatever. That's an example of Dark Souls 2's not very interconnected environments. And sometime later on in this session we will see another example of that. Which I'm really, really hoping they've changed because it is honestly ridiculous. Yeah, we've been wearing the Alpha set just for a bit of change. And here we go to the undead refuge in the Huntsman's Corpse. And here we are. Last episode we talked to Falcon the Outcast, but he didn't want anything to do with us because we are not nearly intelligent enough, nor do we have strong enough faith, which is a bit rude, but... Also, he's moved from there. That was not a very neat change from, but... Okay. And he's dead now, so... Visions of joy. Did he mean looking at the tree, or...? <laughs> I don't know. There's no one down there. The he didn't think we could get, but... Oh, you two, two hits. Are you starting to realise there's a bit of a pattern here? Be wary of right. Oh, there it is. That's a lot of poison. This area is poison and it's undead. There's a lot of bull for that. <laughs> I'm not even forming sentences properly. I don't even know why I'm streaming. Not tired or anything, I'm just... Unable to form sentences, Baron. If we look down there, we can get down there, but I'm not sure the exact route you have to take. But from the looks of it, we can drop down here. Mm. We're still alive, surprisingly. What the? Oh, there's a big basilisk down here. No, from that's rude. No, no. No from, no from. Why would you put one of these? And we're poisoned. I'm just gonna out life gem it and um I don't know what <laughs> I'm not actually sure what cures poison. I, I think it's a monastery charm, but I don't know if we have any. Yeah, it was Ricard's Rapier. If you remember, Ricard is a character you'll find in Dark Souls 1. He is an undead, and he is in the Sense Fortress. But obviously I don't have a Let's Play of Dark Souls 1 on the channel. Yet. But I will eventually. Also, I'm saying yet. It's going to be a long... Maybe next year at this point. Just because I've got stuff planned. And I don't really have time to record more than one series, maybe two at a time. I don't really want to be doing two Soul Series at the same time, or I'd be doing Bloodborne at the same time as this one. But that's irrelevant right now. Go up here. Another, quote unquote, invisible wall. So it's like a hidden door, I suppose. Go in here. Now we get the thief set in looking hollows. And it's been a while since being in this area, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm sort of just like hesitantly going around. Um hmm. This is the right way to go, strange. <laughs> I think he's like Superman jumping up here. And leap tall buildings in a single bound. It's faster than a speeding bullet. It's Superman No that does. Poison moss. That that cures you of poison, that's the one. Uh, I'm also gonna show off down here, um this is where the other end of the bridge would have come out at if we didn't drop down into bloody the awful area down there. <laughs> With the basilisk that I wasn't expecting. Friend ahead. Oh, he's drawing. I think. What are you drawing? Eh? Huh? 
Oh well. You know what? You get to leave. Sake. Oh, I feel bad now. I was gonna let him live, but then I realized I could do the overhead. I'm a bad person. What can I say? I'm the only undead that's allowed to live. Do this, we can light up this area. Oh. Now even though they're just calling carrying short swords, the enemies later on, they look exactly the same as these, but they've got a buff on their weapon. I was wondering if that was still in the game. They have a buff on their weapon and when they hit you it does a lot of damage. Like a lot. It's not fun. <laughs> in Dark Souls 1 there was a merchant that would stand behind the gate like this. And <laughs> wow, that's clever. You know, most messages in Dark Souls 2, a lot of them are hit and miss, but you'll get the occasional really decent ones. Like that. I suppose it only makes sense if you played Dark Souls 1, but even still, it's a nice, funny little ref. Oh yeah, you don't get invincibility frames when you're doing stuff like that now. Dab rock. Uh, when the first, when the game first came out, at least the original version, this area was popular for PvP. And I am playing online, so maybe we'll get some invasions. I say that. I'm not hoping for invasions because I suck at invasions and I'm going to get my ass absolutely handed to it. But, invasions. Invasions, in case. Oh, let's move this guy. In case people didn't know it's the PvP mechanic of this game, people will invade your world and try to kill you. Your job's obviously to kill them in return. Slash, faster. No, I mean. <laughs> try jump. Wow. Lyra. Um, guessing that's going from the other direction, I think, maybe. Now there's two areas we can go through from here. The second area we will be going to much later on. I keep saying much later on. Not too terribly long away. There's actually, hmm. I was like planning out a route in my head of how I'm going to do the game, and I didn't actually consider this extra area. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do, actually. I'll mention it when we go back up to it. It'll be around the halfway point of the game that I come back here, through here, to do that area. Also, one-shot kill, that's great. These guys are actually really quite difficult. <sighs> Bloody poison butterflies. Oh, the Forlorn. This is an NPC. Like, I know I was on a boat. Uh... PvP, but this is an NPC. I am aware of this guy. I don't know what the lore is behind him, but I know he invades you at certain points during the game. Again, I, I'm not sure which points. Like, I didn't even know this was a point that he invaded, but here he is, so evidently this is one of the things. It doesn't seem too strong, but I'd imagine he's going to get stronger as the game progresses. I can't even tell. Is that a great sword he's using? It looks a bit, like, small for a great sword. Might have seen. Well, Cray, that's like a massive, like, hunk of stone or whatever. Oh! I am being maneuvered and outplayed ridiculously by this guy. And he can stun lock me longer than I can stun lock him. So. He's rolling at the same time as well. One more hit and he should be dead. Unless he heals. Nope, he's dead. Invader banished. Got a couple of souls for that. Really? Not gonna drop an item? Human after. It's fair enough. Oh! Didn't actually see you. Okay then, I was making so much more noise before and you didn't hear us. But now, like, I sneak up on you and you're like, oh yeah, hi there, but. Oh! Uh. Oh god! Please! Mister! <laughs> what aim were you? Oh, he's got an, an aromatic ooze, which is a... It's a buff, it's a magic buff. Like, it gives you... Put it on your weapon, and it gives you magic damage. <laughs> Maybe I should stop trying to kite him, and just hit him. There we go. <sighs> That's what I meant. 
these enemies are difficult to fight because they stun like you. Um, boulder head. <laughs> what? <laughs> boulder head in short. Boulder and boulder exclamation mark. There's got to be some sort of streamer that's made that like a joke or something. <laughs> boulder ahead in short boulder. <laughs> like, alright. Um. Oh, we just walk in the front entrance. Well, that's silly. That was. The Morning Star and the Silver Lodge. Bashful Ray. This is an NPC. Like, I don't need the NPCs, like, believe me, I'm actually semi-decent at this game. Oh, he's using daggers. And I will prove that by going for a new game plus, completely without NPC help. At least shades. I just, like, these are all new to us. So I'm just trying to see what they do and stuff. Try and blend them in. I'll probably get rid of them. Like, you'll be gone before the boss fight of this area, anyways. Not that I would need them. The boss isn't too difficult. <laughs> nice entrance there, buddy. You nearly made it. Oh, what? There's a dog up there as well. And he dropped a road hood. Oh, he's got that. I mean, that one ring that I forget the name of. From the second DLC. I want to call it the fog ring, but I know it's not the fog ring. I don't know. We'll go across here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of him now. I just wanted to show him off. And from this point on, I'll only summon NPCs just to show what I've got. And this guy, he also has fire around you. Bloody hell. Yep, sorry, Bashful Ray, but you're going home. Just wanted to show him off the lift. <laughs> if you look in there, there is. Oh? Wait, what? Is that... There is a bonfire in there, but there's usually an NPC in there who's not there. Hmm. Yes, let's summon... No, that's not, actually. Um, that cave we will go through afterwards. I'm really surprised that NPC's not there. I wonder where he's moved to. Because even though we didn't see it originally, because this is where I, like, where I stopped recording footage, we found someone called Pete who mentioned... Uh, like uh, evil, devious, horrible knight who he worked with who tried to trick him. And that's where we found the knight. Well, we would find him originally. But he's not there, so I'm curious to know where he's been moved to. Because Pete is in... Once you talk to him, get through his little segment and fight the last giant with him, he will move to the area coming up ahead. Merciless Rowena spawns up here now. She has... This is... Um... Hmm. So that sounds good. In the beginning of the game, I mentioned... Well, it wasn't the beginning. At some point we saw someone with... Like, another player with that... Helmet on. Now, saying, I really want it. Rowena... Is one of the few chances in the game... That you can get it. There's an... There's um, a boss that wears it. And there's an MP... There's a... Um, that boss there becomes just a normal enemy type, but he doesn't respawn, I'm pretty sure. So there's only a couple of chances for you to get it. So I'm hoping I can get it here. Rowena is not much of a challenge. Oh! Priestess's gloves. Mm. You had to uh, pour soul, but her off a key. Human FG. Undead lockaway key. Right, that is the key we need for the Let's not drop down there, Craig. That is the key we need for the bonfire room. And I'm wondering if I should sit down or not, because I've only got four esters. Hmm. Hmm. There's only a couple of enemies, and I could do with, like, full sword um, durability, so I suppose I will sit down. 